Just another of the enigmas of this country of Albania. All these apartment blocks. None of them look completely finished and certainly none are occupied. This is in the street that runs up behind the main street, the one that we're on. That's in one direction. This is the block in front of us and the view out that we have out to see, just a little view between those two apartment blocks. And then these other ones which are much newer, but all either not completely finished or certainly unoccupied. We wonder what they're ever going to do with the street and the surrounding area. It certainly wouldn't happen like this in New Zealand, or at least we don't think it would. Saturday morning and we're leaving Albania, heading down towards the border with Greece. It's a final shot of the Ionian Sea just south of Sarandi. Across the narrow strait is the island of Corfu. I'm not sure if they've had earthquakes in this area, but this is just one of a number of houses that um, are in an uncompleted state that have uh, been knocked over. Past a few of these over the, on our drive down the coast to Sarandi, but this is the first one we've been able to get close enough to to have a look at. Still left here from the old Hoxha days. Not very big, just really big enough for one man or perhaps two at the most to sit inside and keep an eye on what's going on around the countryside. We're getting a bit closer to the border now. It's actually quite pleasant countryside as we end our time in Albania. Fairly organised sort of orchard down here. Now we've found ourselves on the right road, or pretty sure it's the right road to the border. lunchtime break at some place that I can't pronounce here just across the border into Greece. Still on the Ionian Sea. Quite a nice uh, park here by the, by the seafront. Some ships there in the uh, distance heading for somewhere, or they will be when they get going. We'll just watch one little push me pull you type boat pull out. Not quite sure where it's going, but it could be the bottom end of Corfu. A shame the uh, grass here is all overgrown, but I suppose the Greeks haven't got any money so they can't keep it maintained. One of the fleshy tunnels on our $2.40 toll road. This little village we were staying at Parama, there's a small narrow street, there are uh, caves just nearby, and that seems to be the attraction for this little village. Anyway, just a night's accommodation for us. <laughs> 